Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away, and it's Saturday, which means we've got another Welcome to the Cave. Now today we've got the cave of Michael Bradford. Uh, Michael's done quite a long video uh, in different rooms of his house. Uh, there's going to be something that appeals to everyone in here, trust me. I have got some pictures after this video as well, because uh, some of the lights weren't working during the video, so I posted them up after this video. Uh, for me, it has to be the boxed Kenner figures. That uh, really strung me because I used to have a lot of those. Uh, I was a little bit annoyed that they did release the Kenner figures again as the vintage collection. And I went in my local Asda yesterday to see that they've released them yet again as the retro collection. Uh, so they're making money on the same things again and again and again. I don't think that will depreciate the uh, original Kenner figures, but it's great to see your uh, boxed figures there. Also, uh, Michael, I'm a big fan of Adrian Mole. So you telling me about uh, Adrian Mole um, with Sue's, uh, the old Sue Townsend series of books, uh, that sparked my interest as well. But uh, this is Michael Bradford's Cave. Hello, and welcome to my, I'll say room tour, but it's more of a, house tour. i just like to show you some of my collection. There's some Disney figures um, from Star Wars that luckily I had someone to actually get them for me because I've didn't. i never been to Disney. I'd love to go. Um, here's some of some other uh, figures and there's a case there and, and different things. Um, and here's one of my favourite bits of my room, my vintage G, uh, G1 Transformers. Most are original, the top one is, uh, I think it's a reproduction, um, all my childhood figures and toppers I've had to put a lot at the bottom because it gets quite dark um, and then down to uh, my matchbox uh, toys that I had when I was quite young to be honest and then over here is picture that I actually drew when I was 16 when I had these figures and I managed to find them and put them together again just you know just for this and yes it's Adrian Mel I was actually in Adrian Mel as a kid but just yeah just the stage production this is my vintage uh, Lego I'll start from the top because the lighting's not that great. But, um, vintage, uh, some vintage and some new uh, space Lego. Darth Vader's. And yeah, this is. I did have more lighting, but yeah, it went wrong. <laughs> So, but this is my vintage, uh, mainly 80s Lego, some are from my sister, so at least she passed away, so I added it to it, um, and then going up, the, yeah, the background, I tried to make it like it was um, on, on boxes of old vintage Lego, uh, going up, I've got my vintage um, Star Wars vehicles, all that I had as a kid. Uh, I was quite a good kid because I kept the boxes. And then some more figures. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, just random figures there. And then going up, there's, yeah, just figures that I had. Well, I had well I had as a kid, and a kid, and then they re-released re them, and then the middle one, the two backer one, is actually original uh, proper yeah, Star Wars figure, and then down to the tapes, 
which, you know, I had those as kids and played them all the time. Um, talking to tape players, there's my my retro tape player. I'm so gutted that it doesn't work properly. I can get radio, but the tape player doesn't work. And up to Stranger Things, I love Stranger Things. And over to my sort of, I don't know if it's a mishmash of Marvel. Um, I don't know, what would you say? Um, Marvel, Turtles, <coughs> Transformers sort of thing. But yeah. And then going through there, going to my living room, and we have R2, which is my pride and joy. <clears throat> I didn't think at any time I'd be able to make him. Um, it was, it was, uh, I can't explain how it got to it. It's, yeah, you have to ask me another time, but it, it was, um, it was a challenge, but it was, it was a nice challenge. Um, I'd say the dome itself is actually a B&Q lampshade. Uh, the rest is basically uh, MDF, uh, and this is this is when you know I didn't think I would be able to do woodwork and that, but I managed to find a way and uh, did some research. He hasn't finished. Um, I did actually start doing uh, the builder R2D2, but I didn't finish it so the pits I actually took off there I'm going to be using into R2D2 himself so yeah there there he is um, and then I'm going on to my first project that I ever actually did was this table which is a floppy disk and it's basically an Ikea, I think it was about six pound chair. I cut the back off and then made it into a floppy disk um, coffee table. Oh, I hope it's not going out to focus too much. But when, uh, so, I mean, it's got a secret compartment so I can hide my controls in there and everything else and you know it's all hidden away and then so back there again and then and then this I did well a few years ago I made my own hoverboard so yeah so you've got back to the future and uh, yes, this is a hand-built hoverboard. I made myself, I've done it in cosplays um, as Martin McFly, because, yeah, I'm quite short. So, and then behind it, I can hide where some of my, well, not hide, but that's the only place I've got them, is my, um, um, my uh, sort of prop, other props. And then, over there, I've got Mike McFly's jacket. A bit of zoom in, a bit of actually clear. Probably won't. I can move it a little bit, but uh, well, but up there, that's a picture I did. I don't know why it's going out of focus. Um, and then over here is, I'm going to have to go back to the, the jacket, is my retro um, games basically, I've got what's in the way, uh, 
and in this there's a uh, Amiga 600 Commodore 64 um, Amiga 500 Plus over there at the bottom the CDI, Philips CDI they were great games however really hard to play uh, we've got my this is why I think uh, they should actually make uh, a scale model of you know kit because it's it's such a great car. So yeah, that's going up there. Uh, this is my projector, which I love using. Starts in the garden. Going through here. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's a better quality. But yeah, that's my jacket I used. I did actually cosplay last year. Um, it was great. And then you go through to, I say, I call it my Hall of Fame, which I've got. Glenister from Life on Mars and Ashes to Ashes. Great bloke. Um, uh, Larry Kenny. I actually sent I, I sent him a message and he sent me that. He always says happy birthday. Uh, obviously Crichton and Rimmer from Red Dwarf. They were really nice to speak to. Um, this is the other side where I've got the Star Wars thing going on there. My free picture. Um, Ecto one. Um, and then David Prowse, which I actually met, and then through to the bathroom. Please just focus. Give it a minute, a second, even. But okay, I'll get in there and hopefully it's focus. Oh, that's better. And yeah, this is my bathroom. So that most of these are my sister's that she collected um, before she passed away. That's my sister there. She actually met him. Um, she's got loads of. Doctor Who um, photographs and she bet most of them but this is my TARDIS in my bathroom yes I built a TARDIS in my bathroom um, so don't judge me it was an accident an accident as in I started painting the skirting a dark blue, which I was painting, I was given, and my my other sister said, you know that's the same colour as the TARDIS, so once I've done the sides of the door, I thought, sod it, I want to make a TARDIS, and I did, it's just an airing cupboard. It's just a little cupboard that hides the um, boiler, but it looks cool and it is in dedication to my, my late sister, so, and yeah, I have put blue speaker, speakers in there before, I haven't charged them up, but it does scare people when they use a bathroom and I start charging up the, um, Charging up the uh, TARDIS, um, but uh, good. It's been great, and this is my first video, and so I'm a bit nervous. But I thank Wayne for for helping me do this, and 
and I would like to make sure that everyone stays safe and you know keep up and keep building okay thank you very much bye and as you can see, uh, here's some pictures with some of those areas, especially of the Lego lit up. Looks like you use the same lights that I've got at the back here, and they really are impactful, and they do help to light up the displays and stuff. But uh, everything from the <laughs> TARDIS in the toilet, um, I was really impressed, Michael. So listen, thank you so much for that submission. Now, tomorrow we have Neil Dixon and Comrade Knopp. And uh, as you can see, we've got quite a few more coming soon there. So I thank you so much for everyone that's actually submitted now. If you want to submit to yourself, the easiest way to do it is just to film it on your phone preferably in landscape mode go over to wetransfer.com uh, upload your video there and then send it to my email which is wayne at worldofwayne.co.uk and you can get your cave or your room or your hobby room or your workstation featured on the channel i haven't actually decided what's coming next week so i'll put a card up tomorrow to let you know that i do know that on the saturday it's going to be Mrs. Welder Wayne. <laughs> God help us all. Anyway, listen, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.